Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the Indiana Jones game. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to look at your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end, we're going to go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture. Capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then uh, with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, yeah, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, uh, display mode, you just have two different options. So I recommend to go with borderless window. 
for your aspect ratio, make sure that you're playing native. Also, for your resolution, make sure that you're playing native. I don't know why. By default, I was at 1080p, so it was not my native resolution from my monitor. Uh, so definitely look at this. After that, picture framing, depending on what type of... Um, picture framing that you want just change it you have the cinematic one if you have a wide screen or full screen fov by default it will be a 90 if you go you increase it you're gonna lose a little bit of your fps uh but honestly it's not that bad but i just play default in this game fps limit i just put a 1000 to have uh the uh, to unlock my fps Motion blur, I deactivate motion blur because it's very blurry in this game and I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of motion blur. Chromatic aberration, I go with off also to have a little bit uh, a better image quality, less blurriness still. Uh, this one, I like to play sharpening at 70. It really depends on your preference. Honestly, if you feel that the game is uh, too blurry, go higher. If you feel it, it looks too much as a... Uh, an Instagram filter, go lower with this one. I remove film grain. Again, no impact on your FPS. And also, I deactivate the depth of field. I'm not a huge fan of this effect. Again, better visibility, better clarity when you're playing the game. After that, this one will be huge. Uh, texture, it's pretty crazy in this game. It's... um. Honestly, when you have 8 gig of VRAM, you should play this game at medium for texture pool size. So don't go too crazy. Make sure that also that you have your uh, VRAM indicator that you know how many uh, VRAM that you're using and how many VRAM that you have on your uh, GPU. In my case, I have like 24,000 meg. You can also use MSI Afterburner to see uh, how many texture that you're going to use. But I'm telling you, play at medium if you have 8 gig of VRAM. This game is pretty crazy. Me, I like to play at Ultra. And for all those settings, honestly, I don't see a big difference between uh, any of them. If you compare a low to high, uh, sometimes at Ultra, you're going to take a hit 2 to 3%. Uh, so my recommendation is play eye everywhere. A reflection also. I did uh, The emotion blur quality, I put this one at low, but anyway, it's deactivated. And um, water quality at high, volumetric quality at medium, air quality at high, and texture anisotropic. Just follow what you put uh, over there with your texture pool size. If you're going high over there, go high. If you're going medium, go medium. But the really important part in this game is your texture pool size. Don't Make sure that you have 10% left in your VRAM uh, and you should be fine to play the game. It's Whoa, sorry. So let's go back to Ultra over there. And then I'm going to put Ultra. After that, uh, path tracing, I recommend to deactivate it. You don't want to use any ray tracing. Too much hit in your FPS. And honestly, the result is not that great. After that, vegetation animation quality, I recommend to go with I with this one. You're going to save another 3% over there. And this is pretty much where you're going to get a lot of FPS if you have an RTX card. And it's really sad right now. You don't have FSR available in the game. So you can't use the FSR. You can also use FSR frame generation. It's not available for now. So if you have an RTX card, for sure use quality. You're going to get a nice 10 to 20 to 12% boost in your FPS. Lower than that, the game looks very blurry. And if you want the best image quality, it will be DLAA. You're going to lose 3% in your FPS. After that, if you have an RTX card 4000 series or more recent, you can activate the DLSS frame generation. I recommend you using it. You can expect 40% boost in your FPS. So this one is re it's huge. Honestly, if you can use that, definitely use it. And for the rest of it, it's pretty much it. If you want your performance matrix like this, you just you can put a very ultra, but as you can see, it's going to change. So if you just want to see your FPS, go with low. Color filter, you can do stuff by yourself if you want. It doesn't affect your FPS. Same thing with the eye contrast effect. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide. The, the, the game is running well, but it's very taxing on your uh, VRAM. So just make sure that you manage your VRAM and you should be fine to run this game. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.